Welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily. My name is Aaron. This is one of the best times to be in cryptocurrency, in my opinion. Congratulate yourself because the cryptocurrency market is really heating up. In today's video, I'm going to give you my top coin picks for November. Chose these coins because of what they're achieving, the news they're making, and basically everything we're going to go over in today's video. Now, if there are altcoins that you want us to cover in the future or you think need to be on this list, comment which coins you like in the comments below. I will be reading the comments. I will be responding to the comments. And with that being said, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We drop one video every day, keeping you informed. If you're interested in making money in cryptocurrency, subscribe to the channel for news, opinion, information. Smash the like button and let's get into it. Now, why do I say that the cryptocurrency market is heating up? Well, because the cryptocurrency market is heating up. Look at the signs. Bitcoin searches on Google are going up. Retail is waking up. Ethereum looking ready to rip. Ethereum looking ready to rip and Ethereum interoperators and competitors looking ready to rip. And more than that, it's simply because, why is the cryptocurrency market heating up? It's simply because more and more conversations like this are happening. People talking about how much money they're making. People talking about how disruptive this technology is. Whether you like this guy or not, this is an excellent pitch to buy Bitcoin. Listen to this. For me, I have over a billion dollars in Bitcoin now. Uh, I started accumulating that position last year. I think that this manifests itself into a gigantic asset class. Uh, this is equivalent to me to digital gold. Guys like Michael Saylor and Michael Strategy think it's better than that. Yeah. Could be 10 times gold. I'm not that optimistic about it. I'm not, I'm not a Bitcoin evangelist, Hadley. I don't think that Jesus and Moses got together <laughs> and made a baby and named it Bitcoin. That's not me. But yeah. I am an investor in this because I see the properties, the technical properties associated with it. Ultimately, this is a delayering mechanism for the society. It's a ledger defined by math. And when you think about the history of money, a ledger defined by math that has a scarcity to it, uh, where no politician or policymaker can corrupt it or add supply to it, I think is a fascinating thing, and I think it'll it'll have a it'll have a big position uh, in the global economy over the next decade. The next coin making our list today is Ethereum Layer Two Scaling Solution Polygon for a number of different reasons. Number one, Polygon is breaking out, targeting new record highs. That's right, Matic looks ready to set new all-time highs. And this matches what we see going on on chain. Polygon just crossed 1 billion transactions that have all been processed on the Polygon Proof of Stake chain. An amazing milestone, an amazing achievement. Quite honestly, Ethereum Layer 2 scaling solutions could not have come at a better time. There's demand for this especially with all the adoption that we see. Twitter reportedly working on NFT collectible tabs for user profiles. This is happening on Ethereum. They're going to need Ethereum Layer 2 scaling solutions. So let's talk about Ethereum Layer 2 scaling solutions total value locked generally. Now, total value locked is an imperfect metric, but it's still nice to see that Layer 2s on Ethereum crosses the 4 billion mark. This is not just Polygon. This is many Ethereum Layer 2s. This is good. And speaking about total value locked in general, let's take a look at some of the coins that have the most total value locked. A list of decentralized networks ranked by the total value they secure within financial applications. So most of these are total value locked. One of them is total value they secure. Either way, this is what we want to see, and these coins make our list today. Ethereum, Chainlink, Binance Smart Chain, Solana, Terra Luna, Avalanche, Phantom, and Polygon. These are leaders when it comes to total value secured within financial applications. Now let's drill down on one of those. DeFi token Ampleforth launches on Avalanche. One of the original rebasing tokens, Ampleforth, is now live on the fast-growing Avalanche network. So we've been reporting this to you forever. Avalanche is providing a lot of incentives 
for different DeFi protocols to come on the Avalanche blockchain and it's working. Avalanche's current cumulative number of addresses has exceeded half a million and the cumulative number of transactions is also close to 17 million. The number of daily active addresses on the chain has also reached a new high close to 70,000, a weekly increase of more than 100%. Avalanche makes our list today. Chainlink makes our list today. And Filecoin makes our list today. I want to add Filecoin. And I'm adding them just because they are interoperating with a lot of the leaders in this space. I think the future is multi-chain. The future is interoperable. And did you realize that stuff like this goes on almost on a weekly basis? The Chainlink Fall Hackathon has officially started. It's not too late to sign up. This week, learn how to code a DeFi app, build with Avalanche, build an NFT using Filecoin, and more beginners are welcome to join. Sign up now. I just want to point this out. This is just another example of the interoperability in the space. And before we move on to our next coin, let's just talk about Ethereum competitors in general. Let's talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum. It is highly unlikely that any other layer one besides Bitcoin will match or exceed Ethereum's level of security and decentralization. Once you understand this, you will realize that other layer ones, Solana, Avalanche, are competing with ETH layer twos, Polygon, Arbitrum, Optimism, Ecosystems, and not Ethereum layer one, the Ether blockchain. Interesting opinion. I see his point. I tend to agree with his sentiment. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. If you're still listening to this video, smash the like button and comment which coin you think we should add to our list. Now let's get a little deeper on coin market cap. Next coin I wanna to add to the list is ThorChain. ThorChain is doing some impressive metrics. ThorChain volume and liquidity have broken its all time high. Pretty much my bull case for ThorChain is that it becomes the KYC less borderless go-to venue to trade Bitcoin for Ethereum or Bitcoin for ERC-20 tokens like stable coins. And it's dope to see Shapeshift leaning into this. And if you take a look at some ThorChain on-chain metrics, when it comes to real Bitcoin on ThorChain and wrapped Bitcoin on Uniswap, right now Uniswap still has more wrapped Bitcoin than ThorChain has real Bitcoin. My prediction, more real Bitcoin in ThorChain than wrapped Bitcoin in Uniswap by the end of January 2022. I appreciate all of these perspectives. Next coin on our list. If we truly are in the most mature stages of a budding Bitcoin and cryptocurrency bull market, it might be advantageous, probably wouldn't hurt having a 2% allocation as an option slash lottery to Dogecoin, the meme coin. That's the reason it's here. Retail loves the meme coin. Dogecoin makes our list. Or maybe we should go XRP. Or maybe we should go into SHIB. What do you think? SHIB or Dogecoin? I know they're not the same. I know Dogecoin is much more of a meme coin, but they are both meme coins. And I made a video the other day talking about I was wrong about SHIB, and that video still stands right now. But I do want to put something in perspective for you. A lot of people think that SHIB can hit a dollar. Let's just talk about SHIB hitting 0.001 cents. This really puts it in perspective. Let's try a more visual representation of what would have to happen for even a target of 0.001 to hit. This is what would have to happen, you know just repeat 24 of the most historic months ever. And this is for a fraction of one cent. What if it's just for one cent? For it to hit one cent, we would then have to repeat what we just saw 11 more times like this. So not that SHIB cannot really rally, just like Dogecoin can also really rally, but just be realistic about this. Don't get burnt. Next coin on our list, making a Major partnership, Helium Taps Dish Network for crypto-powered 5G rollout. Dish Network customers can now earn Helium token rewards for deploying a 5G node and expanding the distributed network. Helium is backed by some of the more quality VCs in the space. Helium is one to watch. They're well-funded. Helium makes our list. 
Next coin making our list is Opulus. Opulus is launching the next generation of NFTs and peer-to-peer -peer DeFi loans to change how artists get funding and connection to fans. Built on Algorand, which made a major partnership. If you lived in Asia, you would know about this household name, Line. Tech giant Line is building NFTs on Opulus. Line is the WhatsApp of Asia with over 300 million users. And Line recently completed a merger with SoftBank in Yahoo, Japan. So Opulus makes our list today. Final coin making our list today is Mina Protocol, just because it continues seemingly to gain favor. More than 35,000 people have added Mina to their favorites on CoinGecko. How are you feeling about Mina Protocol today? Now, I own many of the coins we talked about in today's video. So maybe you'd say I'm biased, but I did try to present you with just clear data, clear metrics, and a clear thesis slash opinion. But I know that you probably have different thoughts than me. So again, let me know which coins you're bullish on in November in the comments section below. I'll be watching, I'll be reading, I'll be responding. Don't respond to any of the bots in the comments unless you wanna block them. Don't, I'll never contact you on WhatsApp. Nobody is going to be contacting you on WhatsApp unless they are trying to scam you. So watch out for that. That being said, subscribe to the channel. Check out our interview with Brian Harrington. We did the other day. If you want to find out the best cryptocurrency retirement app is choice, in our opinion, check this out. And with that being said, I will see you tomorrow.